Total Home Improvement Company presents the Spring Blowout Special of the Season. Remodel your kitchen, bathroom, basement, plus flooring specials for every room. Call 313-728-2025 for your free in-home estimate today. Mention this commercial and get 10% off your project. Call 313-728-2025. Remodel your home today. Total Home Improvement, the company you call for your home improvement needs. You're watching United Gospel Explosion. United Gospel Explosion. TV! See, I'm a gangster who died and I'm spreading the word. That's why truth be told, that's why hey. truth be heard. No matter what you get, is, it's made to see. So give it up. That's why special word for you, and you special out there today, and the word is pride, I'm so proud of you, uh, let me, let me, let me do my, uh, correct intro to thank my people out in California, uh, the world round out there making it happen, uh, Kay Victoria, what's up Kay, uh, all of our team, Big director say, go to the next camera. I'm here with you. <laughs> and uh, that's my man, Tim Tim. If y'all see Tim Tim show, he everywhere. But on this here United Gospel Explosion TV today, I just want to give some special ups and shout outs. And um, hey, uh, Ch Charlie Green, Yvette, Yvette down in uh, uh, Atlanta, Albany, Georgia. Oh my God, y'all should have me do this because I always, and, and I can't leave out Miami, y'all. Uh, so many great states right now I want to be talking about, but first I just want to say welcome to United Gospel Explosion TV. And my motivation for really coming in the studio live today was to just show you some love. And uh, I am not doing it by myself. I got one of my partners in crime with me, Denise Agra. She in the house doing the thing. And uh, so much yes. Hey guys, welcome to the United Gospel Explosion TV. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, one of the reasons why I'm so glad to have uh, our people here today is because, again, it's a pride thing. And it's not just limited to black pride, but I do want to recognize and commend black pride for coming out. You can go and turn that up, Denise. You see over there? Okay. See over there getting down with the TV show. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can just pick it up. I just want to let you know something right now that uh, this is a very, very special time. And I, and I feel, Denise, that we're li uh, living history right now. Absolutely. Uh, with this election, because I'm going to go extensive in on the election. And... This isn't going to be for me what you may expect because, you know, y'all know I don't talk about Biden. I supported Biden, but I also want to give up to the president. And the fight ain't quite over, but it looks like our man winning. But it's nothing for me to go yeah, yeah, yeah about because I just feel it's time for the country to heal. Mm -hmm. It's a real time for the country to heal. And uh, we've never been in a situation quite like this where you had so much not just competition, because it's been rough competition. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it should be a battle of wheels and, 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 and differences when um, when different components are running for offices, especially like the president, mm -hmm. um, the vice presidency, the governors and senators, everything. You know, it is it is a major competition. But at the end of the day, we've always been willing to say, in my little short life path, Congratulations, and it's about moving the country forward. Congratulations. I ain't going to be out of love with you or jump up and down, but at least professional to say congratulations 
you know, you do it, you did a great job, and move on. But the reason why I'm pausing on the celebratory uh, reactions is because I know it's a lot of people out there hurting. Whoever wins, if, 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 if Biden or, or Trump wins, all those people that were supporting the other is hurting, which was half of the country. So we're a country divided. So that makes me feel that our job, anyone's job to have a voice of hope and a voice to get out here and talk love into the atmosphere. If it's love, and, I, and I, was, I was telling the different pastors I talked to, man, if we ever need the love before, so do we need them now. So do we need them now. <laughs> and that goes for all religions and races. Man, we need each other. You know, I don't care if you're green, purple, black, blue. We need each other because it's almost like when when you see a bicycle rolling, you know, you used to ride a bike, and they had the little spokes in the wheel. It's like that you're saying, well, I'm only going to like half of the spokes in the wheel. Because like or not, we rolling together. Am I right or wrong? So... Do you see where I'm coming from? Exactly. I want to speak truth to power today. I want to speak light and darkness and love in the midst of hate. And um, I don't have to uh, hate you to fight you. Uh, I remember George Sherman and Muhammad Ali with some of the greatest battles you ever see. They come into the arena and all oh, the the lights will come on and It'd be like, hey, like a butterfly saying, like a being, George, I'll knock you out. <laughs> and they would talk about each other. And, but at the end of the fight, they both made a couple of million dollars. Some money, they made some money. These are, these are multi-millionaires that we're dealing with. They had more in common, you know what I'm saying? Well, wait a minute. What you said, what you said, but to agree, we, we have more in common. We, you don't want to hear me say this. Y'all tell me to shut up because we have more in common than we do separate. Absolutely. I'm saying something to somebody. Absolutely. If you don't recognize you have more in common than you do separate, count the amount of fingers you have. I mean, I ain't talking no handicap because you may not have any and, and you're still blessed. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, just normally birth, count the members of your body, your ears and your eyes and your nose. Count them on the fingers you have and see if they don't equal mine. Because if you got, if you were born with 10 like me, we got more in common. But one thing is that we all have, we all have a heart. No matter whether you're blind, fickle, or crazy, you don't say crazy, you know what I'm saying? That's a good one. You know, we all got a heart. You yeah. know, we all they got a heart. It. Right, exactly. And we all have a heart. So that's how we all have in common. Yes, yes, so yes. the love that we have to have, no matter what I say, I don't care who's in the White House. I know Jesus, he's in the White House. Mm-hmm. He's still, she dropped that one Jesus, in the last week. Jesus is still yes, right. And Jesus is the same today, yesterday, yes. and forever. Yes. So we still got to trust him, just like you said, Pastor Torres, that no matter who's in there, we got to still love and, and ask God and whoever. Give you wisdom like Solomon did. Yes, yes. Solomon could have had anything that he wanted to. And God asked him, What are you from? God he said, Give me some wisdom. Yes, so I was the president. Yes. They need wisdom. You got to go to God. So oh, Solomon, you God. got to go to God for wisdom. You know, even when during the pandemic, they had everybody praying. You know, the government had people up there praying. You know, my uh-huh. president Trump, he had people praying for him. You yes, know, yes, yes, and yes. I'm, I'm Biden, I'm sure he did too. You know, but you got to go to God. You can't, that's a hard job. It's a hard job. I mean, and, and, and the main thing is, in this hard job, we must remember that some of us are leaders in your own life. Mm-hmm. You're a family or your community. You're doing positive things. But to be the leader of the United States of America today, you know, this is this is Torrance talking. This ain't, this ain't written in your book. But I know it's true. You have to be inclusive of everybody. And when you begin to exclude races of people because of um, differences that you see, you know, my hair is my nappy than yours, so that might be a problem for you. And y'all know, I, t- I said, and I told them, that, now y'all know I done got a haircut out here. Because you know, my crown is under there. I said, go on, cut it on up. 
as I told him, after the election, and I made that to myself, I didn't tell nobody, I said, but after this election, I'll go ahead and cut my hair off. And I, <laughs> I thought it was over. I didn't know it was going to be a week later, and two weeks later, I would have kept my crown. But uh, it's there. It's just it's invisible. Say, your hair may be knocky, but your soul is happy. My soul is happy. <laughs> and, and I'm just thankful that um, that right now uh, we can be able to give a word of togetherness. Um, you can't ignore it. You, you, it's something you have to talk about. I just noticed that came out. Oh, that my came God. Out. It's a Michigan out. It's a big thing coming out. And I'm, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. The voters as a whole, and being a black man, I must say this because I am going in on that. That I'm proud of each and every African American person that took their souls to the polls. And y'all know I almost cussed on him because I said, "Get your butt up and uh, vote. Get out and vote." And I did use the word "butt," but <laughs> "butt" it can also be a slice of bread. But I was talking to. Some of my brothers, and I think, and sisters too, but, uh, you know, uh, of, the, of, the, of the fly persuasion, of, of, the, of the kind of street in our persuasion. I wasn't giving that to you, mother, uh, right near black, <laughs> or whatever. And, 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 uh, no, it's some out there that don't, I have to talk a little different for them to hear what I'm saying. But regardless of that, whoever made the message to them, <laughs> man, they got on the boat, they came through. And let's take a second. We didn't lose a drop. Because you know you're in a fight. Absolutely. And uh, when it's a championship fight, and I've rooted for different championships, whether it be baseball or basketball or some hockey or whatever your sport is, football, when, when, when it's really tight, you're rooting for your team. And if they keep getting one touchdown to another touchdown to another touchdown, and they're going back and forth, when lose a draw, you're still proud of your team. Absolutely. So that's what I want to give you. Neither of these men, and they're actually voting count, had anything to be uh, ashamed of because each one was neck and neck. I mean, I've seen states go back and forth like a seesaw, but let's just keep it real. This is one of the most watched elections ever, ever in the history of our country. We've had people watching from the outside of the window, from the inside of the window. They even got cameras up in there, just just making sure that nobody still a vote or even or even talk to one away. It seems. So pressure, you know, listen to me. Pressure can mess a fight for you. And I'm playing for Donald Trump right now because it seemed like the pressure got to him. In the sense of I've never seen that happen to another president sitting in the, in the office, other president that would come out before votes are counted, begin to claim himself the victim. But not only that, the actions afterwards, I mean, it kind of it hurt me to the core of what our democracy is about. I mean, I've seen, um, I've seen when, when Hillary lost, as hard as it was, she came up and conceived it. And went on. It may not have been time to conceive, but it surely is it the time to spread doubts of fear or to continue to plant seeds of hate where people will be motivated to get out and be confrontational with other people? Because, see, that's how people get hurt. I mean, you have to be really motivated to get up off your couch and run downtown. In Detroit, <laughs> and bang on some windows. Well, I'm just glad some police was out there to watch because it could have got real ugly, real fast, and a lot of lives could have been lost. This thing ain't over, so I'm taking this serious. So what I'm just trying to say is truth to power. They both did a good race, part a good race. Either person that win should be able to hold their head up. Either person that lose should be able to hold their head up. And as my daddy said, take it like a man, boy. Oh, you got a black eye. Take a, take a stick on it. Come on. Is this at the point where whenever something happens like this, we're going to have to uh, go and hopefully go to the Supreme Court to get a decision about who win in an election? I've never seen this in the course of my life. Have you seen anything like this? Never, 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 never. You know, so it's 
was really, really clear to me on how, how he is. But like I said, our people came up to the phone. They even, they brought ballots, you know, because they, they did get ballots, but they brought the ballots, turned them back in, you know. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. uh, and then they voted like that, too. So it was, it was, it was, it was no way for you not to vote. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they had yeah. so many ways, like, for the satellite, and you could even register the same day right. and still vote. And I remember one young girl that came, it was her first time voting, which we were shouting out, uh, a shout out to Precinct 220, that uh, awesome team that was there. Okay, okay, um, yeah, you know, yeah, we did our thing, right? so right. So the new people came out to vote, we were shouting out, we gave new buttons, you know, oh, and I yeah. voted today, it was so awesome. Oh, and that's great. She had to go to Northwest Activity because she hadn't registered, you know? Mm-hmm. And I said, go register and then come back. Sure enough, she came. Yeah, it was some motivation. It was some motivation. I told you, you're gonna, your life is going to be great. You ain't seen your best day yet because you did something that yeah. was great. You know, you went to go and, you know, somebody said, I ain't going to do all that. She went to go register. We give you a card. Which the city of Detroit is excellent. Everything is all clear. So yeah. there's no doubts with Detroit what's going on with our election because we did it fair. It's going to be fair and square. Right. Everything is taken. Our yeah, did it for Frank. Did a great job, you know, in getting people to work. So which, as far as us, it's not no kind of shame, not at all, period. And, 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 and I have to ditto that for the nation because, like I said, this was the most watched election. So when you were there, there were professionals watching you. Yeah, there were people walking up and down that floor. Yeah, you had challenges to check your account from, 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 from the Republican, uh, Democratic side. You never saw anything like this before. Yeah, because right, not like that, but you right. see both sides challenges, Democratic challenges, and even Republican challenges. Right. Okay. It's all cool. You were, you're allowed to come around, you know. You can't talk to the voters, but you can um, see what's going on. Yeah, you, know? you can go and around. And on it, you know, but we had, oh, it was such a blessing. We had a great, great day. It was beautiful. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful because, you know, this is a situation like you took a ballot and tossed it to the side. It was impossible. The ballots weren't even open until, in Michigan and some other in some other major states, they weren't even open until the election. The main ones in clusters weren't even open until election day. And then they counted the ones that came in first and then the ballots came after that. But with this... Everything we do today is transmitted, you know what I'm saying? If everything is right there, computerized is an excellent system. We got the best system mm-hmm. um, as far as the, uh, the votes and people coming in. It was so smooth, it was so clear. Mm-hmm. They send you to class, you got to go to class, you know, you can stay right. in, you know, go. And I'm telling you, everything was smooth, you know. Right. And then people, some people write in votes, you know what I'm saying? And you got to write yourself in, you know. Right. So sure, it's sure. a separate part for that, you know. Mm-hmm. In the, in the, um, it's called a tabulator, you know. And you mm-hmm. um, vote, the regular votes come in, and then... They have um, the write-ins, you know, they have a separate part. So sure. they are those, and then you get the write-ins, you know. Right. So people have to vote in themselves, you know. So, so this was a process. Mm-hmm. Beautiful this process. This was a process that had been well thought through. Oh, yes. Very and, and I just want to say that it, it's common sense that um, if you tell your people, and this could have been a, a mistake on the Republican side, on Donald Trump's side, that he began to discourage his people from voting early, which could make a difference in who wins the presidency. I mean, if you tell a person you're the leader, I think they'll do anything he say. If he say, like Jim Jones, drink the Kool-Aid, not calling Donald Trump Jim Jones, but I do believe if he tells them to drink the Kool-Aid, they're going to drink the Kool-Aid. Whether it's poison or not. I mean, I'm just saying, because when you told them to uh, go, uh, 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 go tell them to uh, stop the count, Man, it mobilized uh, people all over, all over the uh, United States. Yeah, to be it. going banging on people's windows, talking about stopping the count. And I told you earlier how dangerous that is. Don't try that too often in Detroit. But please don't go down the side streets trying to be. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, I wouldn't do that. I just wouldn't do that. You know, you better keep your activism in, in, in light and in, in public in a well lit place because. You go to turn to some of these corners down in, in these different neighborhoods, not just Detroit. You're doing it in Philly. You're doing it in different places that they are not playing people there. Exactly, exactly. It can hurt you. Exactly. And, and, and I'm not stimming that up, but it's just what I'm trying to get at. You know, I'm not going to, the second half, we're going to get into uh, uh, some COVID realities that we're dealing with now. But I was going to do that first, but you need to off. I know she couldn't hold it, but. Well, you can't hold one. <laughs> but, but, uh, but no, uh, so we're, we're in a circumstance now where the world again is at turmoil. The United States is at turmoil. Even over who we're choosing 
the president for exercising your rights. And let me tell you something. Don't stop. Don't stop exercising your rights because this is just beginning to show how powerful you can be if you're part of the system. To all you young people that voted for the first time, and older people that voted for the number uno time, first time in your life, my hat's off to you. My hat's off to you. So you saw uh, a lot of people that were voting for the first time were many, um, were, were, were many uh, elderly people, grown people voting for the first time? Most of the people who voted for the first time um, turned um, 18. You know, oh, yes, so okay. Yeah. yeah. And they, uh, they had a few people who voted for the first time voting. You know, mm -hmm. so it, was, it was a very, very exciting. And that takes a lot of pride to swallow to come in as a grown person and say, I ain't never voted before, but I'm going to be part of this system and put me on. And so we're seeing some very unusual things happening. And I want you to be able to do this. You can call me later, or you can reach me at 313-728-2020. Um, I ain't bring the phones out today, but I want you to be able to call me at 313-728-2025. I'm going to put a number up here for the second half of the show where if you have a situation, if you know of something that happened at the polls, positive or negative, we want to know about it because now is the time and that number is 313-868-0342. 313-868-0342. When we come back from half time break, I'm going to have it open. So if you want to call, you can call. You, know, you can come in because I already you talk about it here. Absolutely. And demonstrate it in the street. Let's talk about where we're at right now. Well, Tell me this thing, yes, because I want to, I want to get your opinion in here and bring you. Oh, and they're flashing the numbers right here. Uh, yeah, when you get at the at half time, take these numbers down. I'm going to show them up at the uh, second half of the show as well. If Tim can do that for me, some call in numbers. Will you be able to call in and be a part of this show and uh, share your input on uh, and, and, and your reactions to this massive, massive election? I know that I want to see something out of all of this. It lets me know we need to push entrepreneurship. Thank you, Lord. Let's just go real with it. We need to push entrepreneurship as hard as we push in the election. We need to, we need to push entrepreneurship in our neighborhoods as hard as we push the election. We need to uh, begin to have our little self-ministry and self-teaching classes, even within our home. It's okay. I don't mind sharing money and spending money, but we need to start spending some money within our circle as well. With all due respect to every restaurant that's out there, all the car places that's out there, but we have to begin to take this serious that we cannot become second-class citizens for anybody. You are not to become second-class citizens for anybody. I always say, put God first, and everything else will fall in place. Absolutely. Begin to think fruitful thoughts. Absolutely. Begin to know that you're enough to do things. And all these things that face you, you're more than a conqueror. Absolutely. More than a conqueror. Absolutely. How do I know that? Yes. The Bible tells me that. It's like a road map. Different things going to come at us, but we're more than conquerors. This challenge came at us, Denise. But hey, look, they were more than conquerors. They got up off that couch, wherever it is at, came down and vote. And I, and I am so overwhelmed by ourselves today. You have to have a second to have some self-pride, too, and some self-love. And from this love, I can begin to love everybody. This is why I can love you if you're white, if you're green, if you're yellow whatever, white, brown, yellow people, whatever they call them. I can love everyone because we learn to love ourselves, and we must do that and exercise that with the respect. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, give them a word of encouragement right now, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going hard today. <laughs> you be the nice voice. I'm going hard. Give them a word of encouragement to, to, to just let them know that no matter who wins, it's right at the end of the tunnel, and that also, you give them the thought that you are already great. Absolutely. You were great at the beginning of this election. 
Everybody got to make you great again. You were great at the beginning of this election, and you're going to be great at the end. Absolutely. I'm telling you, you are somebody. I'm telling you. I just want you to be encouraged to know that God is still in control no matter what. And He's such a merciful, forgiving God. But one thing, that's first of all, the God wants us to keep on moving, you know? Yeah. Keep on moving, you know? Um, just, I just lost my mom um, on Sunday. Um, she got on the glory. Mm-hmm. And I'm so uh, proud, you know, but you got to keep it moving. I remember when um, Robin Sack, his wife, had went on the glory. And so, they was on the bed. This is next day. And so the mm-hmm. kids had got up and everything like that. And they was like, um, with, well, um, they got mom and dad said, well, guys, what you doing? We just lost your mom, you know, whatever like that. And the kids said, mama said, we got to keep it moving. You know, mm-hmm. we got to keep it moving. Oh, you know? Yeah. So that's how we have to do. We have to still keep it moving. Yeah, you know, sure, sure. we thank God for life. You know what I'm saying? And God is so merciful, so good. He made my mama's choices. It was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Mama, 85. You know what I'm saying? Going to find it peaceful. She wasn't in no pain. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't no COVID. There wasn't anything about her. It was just a blessing. You know, uh, it was just God's timing. But he prepared us. We we was able to go see my mama. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, she had went to the hospital. But when you were shooting a senior kid, you couldn't go see her. You know, like that. You couldn't have seen her. Some people, their parents was in there or whoever. I heard they was climbing through the window over there. She was a lookalike too. Yeah, Mommy and Dad just like spit her out. Yeah, they said. But uh, it was just such a beautiful thing that love your people while you can. Do the work while you can. I'm saying, give me my flowers while I'm here. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. And, 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 and it's light out now. Uh, uh, one of my pastors would say, uh, uh, work while it's light because night will come when no man can work. You know? It will become a day when, when we're going to lay down and, and we're going to give up these bodies. And we ain't giving up on God, then, Absolutely. because this Absolutely. is a forever journey. But right now, these bodies, and thank you, Denise, for yeah. that word, because yeah. I know they need that encouragement, yeah, even though her mother just passed. And I didn't know that. When she came in, she told me, she know I would have told you, stay yourself home yeah. and relax. But I am thrilled that your mother taught you the way she yeah. did, because yeah. that's the only thing that can have you out here like this Absolutely. and moving on it's and enjoy your God. And Absolutely. you can see it all over your face. Absolutely. And uh, you know what? It's something for you, too. It's a joy for you, too. So, and you always hear me say, well, put God first and everything will fall in place. And what I mean is, let go of your dumb wheel. I call it a dumb wheel. My wheel was a dumb wheel. Because I was a dumb wheel. You know, I, I didn't know. And, and you were, too. If you follow God, you know he put you in realms and places. You could never even thought of going. So I ain't saying dumb in a negative sense. You may be very smart. But you ain't smart with the blessings that God got for you. He, he's smart. And uh, as you begin to let go and let God in your life, none of this, none of these things that hurt you that's going to come, come against you. We're not through fighting yet. I just want to let you know that. We're not through fighting yet. Why am I saying that? Whoever wins the election, they're facing a COVID disaster right now. It seems to be multiplying in a way we've never seen in my Whoever wins the election still got work to do. So we're looking at the work that we have to do. We're looking at the work for each one of us. Even the idea of tearing these walls out of division and separation. Come on, y'all. We're having this get to God because we got work to do. And we got to work with all and each and every one of us working on the same team and make it through this thing. And I think that's God's plan ultimately. It's an ultimate plan that you cannot be over there and should be over here because anybody can catch you. Absolutely. 
It, it ain't just happen in one neighborhood. And just that neighborhood's affected. This is a worldwide thing. So God is getting all of our attention. Do you know what came to my mind, Denise? We don't go to break in the mind because the word says every knee will bow. Every knee shall bow. He didn't say um, every black knee, every white knee, every Chinese knee, every Korean knee, every African knee, every Jamaican. He didn't say that. He said every knee will bow. And do you realize that this pandemic now, this COVID pandemic is in every spot in the world right now. And so if you ain't caught it, maybe you don't understand that you need to be in God's grace and prayer right now. Yeah, because that means God keeps us. Because you cannot dot every I and cross every T. If you can't, because God keeping you. Believe me, you know. And if that be God keeping us, I tell you, you know, believe me. So we got to kind of come together as a collective. Mm -hmm. At some point, it has to be a platform of love, of togetherness, of understanding that's going to pull us through this thing. Absolutely. And uh, I just have to say to, um, I, I, I want to say President-elect Biden. I didn't want to say that because he's there, but I'm going to say to Vice President Biden right now. I appreciate how you came and represented America to the world. The way you came out in the midst of confusion and told the world to be calm and be steady and don't go crazy, especially in the United States of America, uh, you know, and, and, and it ain't over yet that they're still counting. He could have came a whole different way. And, and like I said, I'm praying for Trump. That his mind can be open to a bigger picture right now. Right. And his agenda. <laughs> I mean, it's going to open you up anyway, so you might as well accept it early. Like Mama said, you're going to get your medicine now, or you're going to get it later, but you're going to get this medicine. And uh, it's not me. <laughs> it's God that I'm really catching your attention. And I want you to let you know, if he ain't caught your attention now, and you run around talking about uh, the whole world don't want you to be president. <laughs> and, and, and they stop, and, and, and they bring in the votes, and every major state you're losing in, something's wrong, something's terribly wrong. And I ain't got to be no psychiatrist or no analyst to anybody hear that. It's like, what just happened? Even this whole, his own um, uh, Republican uh, constituents. Hopefully, are coming to him saying, "Hey, look, calm down. That ain't what the U.S. has never been about." So hopefully, we can stay on our feet and get back to the love that we've been speaking of. Mm -hmm. You know, it is a way. It is a way out. And uh, I want to let you know, for me, God is the way. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the answer for you. I'm not knocking it. If you have any religious precept at all, mm -hmm. I suggest you hold on to it and put it to the forefront of your actions right now. Because if we ever need a God before, I'm so we need a God. We're going to get a break and uh, get a couple of sponsors in. We'll be back in a few. In the second half, I'm going to address this COVID thing. I say COVID thing. We got to get right down in it. This ain't nothing to play with. Peace, you guys. We'll be right back. Right Total Home Improvement Company presents the spring blowout special of the season. Remodel your kitchen, bathroom, basement, plus flooring specials for every room. Call 313-728-2025 for your free in-home estimate today. Mention this commercial and get 10% off your project. Call 313-728-2025. Remodel your home today. Total Home Improvement, the company you call for your home improvement needs. In the world of digital broadcasting, transmitters and exciters sometimes do this. If this happens when you're watching WHPR TV 33, please... Do this. Watch us on Fire Stick, Roku, Apple TV, Google TV, or TV33WHPR.com. Download the WHPR TV app, and we can also be heard on Amazon Echo. So remember, if you see this, you can do this and support the station that supports you. 
Hi, this is Lawanda. This is RJ Watkins. Coming to you to bring you some information about the number one detox in the nation, Lemon Burn. Lemon Burn helps to turn the fat into fit. It's for you, a happier, healthier you. Because you know healthy is the new beautiful. An all-natural way to improve your health. It promotes a healthy digestive system, attacks and reduces belly fat, as well as gives you energy. You need to get yours today. Call 313-868-6612. Don't forget to exercise and eat right. We at Watkins Broadcasting care about the health and safety of our viewers and listeners. During this novel coronavirus pandemic, please protect yourself and others. Wash your hands well and often. Avoid touching your face. Cough and sneeze into your sleeve. Practice social distancing. Stay at least six feet away from others when in public and only leave the house when it's essential. Stay safe. You are important to us. You're watching United Gospel Explosion. United Gospel Explosion. TV! See, I'm a gangster with God, and I'm spreading the word. Truth be told, that's why truth be heard. No matter what your gift is, it's made to see. So give it up for victory. Come on, God's for explosion. All right, all right. Thank you for the intro again. Uh, Timmy Pam producing in the background. And uh, got my partner, Denise Agua, on the set. And we're right here at United Gospel Explosion TV. Ain't going nowhere unless you say go. And we'll go. We just uh, we thankful for the uh, first half of the show where we were able to hash up a little bit of the election. In this second half of the show, I'm going into um, something even more serious than the election. It's some whoever comes through the election better be ready to handle, and that's this COVID-19 crisis that we have uh, in America and in the world. And I do believe that. As we begin to share our cures with the world and to work as a united effort, then already we're closer to freedom. We're closer to being over this thing. In other words, if one country has a cure, let's say, let's say uh, Taiwan has a cure. They got a little cure down in Mexico or even a, a remote part of Africa, like Wakanda, like in the movie Wakanda, which don't exist, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but let's say in this little area they got a cure, in this little circle, and they, they found this cure and they're holding it. And what if the rest of the world will vanquish and disappear? Don't you think that made you less powerful? Where do you think your products are going? Where do you think you're going to get them from? So, until we begin to look at this as a collective, and I'm talking about understanding what a collective means, that it's not just an individualized situation. God is bigger than one man or one philosophy or one identity. He got the whole world in his hand. I believe that. So if he got the whole world in his hand, it ain't just people that look like me. I love you guys that look like me, but I got to understand that there's some other people out there that we got to love. So we have to begin to think in the shared concept. And they even began to do that when they went out of space. They, they have a united space mission. We got to have a united COVID mission. I'm just saying this because it makes sense. Well, just be a, a nappy head boy with a little common sense, Pam used to say. Get you some common sense. But you gotta learn to work with each other. You gotta learn to love each other. Unless you're gonna nail yourself in the box. Go ahead, just take over. Cause I, I, if they nail yourself in the box, what happens? <laughs> you're gonna be in the box. <laughs> and you, you can't get out. You know? you can't get out and can't get in. Right, exactly. So you're already dead. Just call that your coffin. <laughs> I don't wanna be in no coffin, even if it's as big as the United States. Because this outreach we have, and if we're speaking of God, Speaking of love, I don't care what religion you are, it's got to be a world concept that we're dealing with. COVID, COVID is on us right now. 
We're getting record-setting numbers, and they're multiplying. And I'm just saying this to say there is hope. I'm not saying this to tear you down. I'm saying this to say that there is hope. But we got to look for the answer in the light of each other's eyes. We have to begin to look at each other and share knowledge to come up with a solution to this problem. It's not going to be a red or a green or a white or a black problem. It's a major worldwide problem. And so that's why I'm looking at a broader aspect of, of outreach. That's it. And, ooh, this hurts to say this, but I can't just say the Chinese can it. It could have started there. It's like saying this a, um, it's a Chinese flu or American flu. It's the flu. So what we're looking for is a solution to that. We're looking for a, a, a cure that can help everybody worldwide. And it should be a thing now that we can begin to tear down the walls that separate us. And, and I just started this conversation just, just saying that God and his infinite wisdom. Well, we can force you. <laughs> but you can't do it. He can force you to come out your comfort zone. Hey, not somebody. Absolutely. It's easy to be in your comfort zone, Denise. You hear what I'm saying? But it's bigger than it's bigger than your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You gotta be outreaching to somebody, you know. That's right, that's right. That's right. Listen, our prayers go out to um anybody, family, loved ones who have, have uh, lost their lives through the um pandemic of the COVID and our prayers are for you, you know. And I, yes. and I always say that there's no sorrow on earth that heaven can't heal. So we just pray for the you know, that you know, for the people that we just believe in God. But while we're here, guys, and we still live in God wants us to live. Yes. You know, we have to live on purpose. You know, I know it's one day at a time, but don't get discouraged. Yes. Don't get discouraged. Know that God is still in control, and God still wants you to dream that you have. I have back at two and two. Yes. Write it down, make it plain. You yes. know, yes. write the vision down and make it plain. So we still have to live. God got something to it. I'm like entrepreneurship that we talked about too. People making money in the pandemic. You know. Yes, some people are making um, money. I shout out right here to um. <laughs> um, Bella, 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 uh, Leticia, my, my um, oh, yeah. sister in love. Um, she making masks. My sister in love in uh, North Carolina. She just sent me a box of masks. Mm-hmm. She had to fit the uh, red, white, and blue with the star check. My dad is representing Trump, whatever like that. But you know what? <laughs> you know, we put on my sister Carolyn Lynch. Shout out to you. you know, on your mask. In God we trust. That's all we know. In God we trust. You know. Right. So That's people right. are making money. You know, entrepreneurship. Get out and do what God has you to do. People are still making money in the pandemic. You know. Well, God said that He would not hold any good thing from us. Mm-hmm. It's not good. He got hold it back from us, but we got to trust Him mm-hmm. with all our heart. Lean not to our own understanding. You know, Lord, forgive me for anything that has not been pleasing Your sight, Father God. Thank you for a new day. And He will direct out there. So this is a new day, like I said. We've been in door for a night, but joy come in the morning. It's morning time. Uh-uh. Get on up. It's morning yes, time. You know, That's so what I wanted to so do. So Lift thank up. Thank God, though, you know. But we got to just trust God. You know, of course, you may be sad. You may go through. But don't stay in that, that, that depressive state. Do not stay in. Of course, you know, you got feelings. And everybody grieves differently from different things. But don't stay in that space. You know what I'm saying? You're it's not going to lie. But you know what, Pastor Charles? God has given us a garment of praise for the spirit of heaven. Mm. So when you start getting heavy, you start singing your praise unto God, saying, I mean, that kind of breaks so quick. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so I mean, you sit to somebody, you can sit down and talk. Uh, my stuff. mama used to do that. Yeah, my mama used to do that. Yes. Mama used to walk around the house mm-hmm. and be singing a song. Yes. <laughs> and I didn't know that meant she was broke or something. <laughs> <laughs> She'd make us wash the walls <laughs> in and, <laughs> and put a different smell in the house, you know? <laughs> and, and, uh, Change, you can change your circumstances right then by just lifting your mind up and begin to begin to put on that garment of praise, like you said. They get it slavery. It's a new day. Yes, you know it's a new day. And what I want you to get ready for is your breakthrough. Amen. What I was saying is that I think God is setting the world up for a breakthrough. Mm-hmm. And, the, and the breakthrough is going to be a better understanding of Him. Yeah. Uh, 
Pastor, you mean this was all? No, I'm not. I'm not saying even proclaiming to have all the answers. But what we have to not do now is come obediently to God, submissively to God, and let Him know that we love Him one, and we need Him two. And if we begin to come out with that in our heart, and I seen, uh, I think all the all the the, our politicians in Washington need to bow down and knee. This will be the first one bow down and knee. But if we begin to think it's us, us, and me, me, it can only lead you to further destruction. I see people now, and I don't want to just jump on Trump because Trump is just a result of what other people are actually thinking and trying to feel. He's the mouthpiece for hate right now, unfortunately. Seeing it because when he said, uh, You guys doing uh, count every vote and all that, he didn't say, uh, Republicans and Democrats, let's get together and check this thing. He was talking to an exclusive set of people, and that made it come together into a volatile situation, a dangerous situation. But when you begin to open up your heart right now, they like, what love got to do with it? Too? But love has everything to do with this thing because there's a lesson to be learned here. And even a child can see that, you know. And the question is, what's wrong? When something's going out of the way, you just got to say, what's wrong? Let's begin to fix what we know is wrong. Our relations with each other, how we carry ourselves, how we try to put others down to bring ourselves up. This is not the day that we can readdress. What day am I talking about? It was a day of segregation. That I think as a baby, I might have lived through some of it. didn't really know what it was, but that segregation was a point where they had a separate drinking fountain for you than they had for me. Segregation was separated. You had a different um, ideology that this man had a certain legal system, and this black man had a different legal system. No, 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 no. Let's not go back to this. Let's not think that we can because you open up a can of worms mm-hmm. of hate that can ultimately hurt you. Absolutely. Not just hurt you, hurt your people, hurt the things you believe in. And I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat. What happened to us being Americans? Absolutely. What happened to us being able to pull together? That's right. Absolutely. So, so in fighting of this disease that we're in right now, do you realize uh, just in, when I was thinking this, just in Michigan, over 5,000 cases yesterday, just in Michigan. And I'm a math person, so my mind was like, well, five times, five times 50 is 250. So you go to thinking, like, and add some zeros to it. So we're talking about 250,000, 200 some thousand worldwide cases. Y'all don't pay me on math. I think math. I'm sick like that. I'm talking about throughout the United States. Yes, it's still living, but the point I'm making is mm-hmm. that this is a for real thing we in. Mm-hmm. And I was talking on that in the matter of fact, slightly on the first half of the show. Right. And what's the problem with us sharing uh, our ideas with yours? Because, yes, you can isolate, and I agree 100% with the mask that we're wearing to go back and forth and cleansing everything we can. Mm-hmm. But what is wrong with us beginning to work on an international level mm-hmm. to test and kind of check cures with each other and make sure everybody in the world can mm-hmm. take advantage of it? That's what I'm saying there. But that's, that's just me and I'm conscious it's yeah. kind of different. Right. Because, it's kind of uh, just big before you can ask what you say as far as um, slavery and different things like that where people, we have to realize that we fight not against flesh and blood. The powers of principalities, rules of darkness, I'm mm-hmm. telling you, the enemy tries to come steal, kill, destroy any, any way he can, you know. But we got to realize that the enemy cannot do anything with what, what the Lord allows him to do, you know. So when you just go and do your own thing and you're doing this or whatever like that, you know, you open up the, the, the doors, you know, for the enemy to come in. And, you know, the guy got his games and kids to pop us, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Oh, my goodness, you know, you got to ask, you know, every day. It's a daily bread. When you say that daily bread, oh, it's definitely. every day God keep me. And when you ask, saying? what happens? You know, God, if, you, if you ask for a piece of bread, he's not going to give you a spot. Right. I just and if you God, seek, just, if you're seeking it, what happens? You're going to find it. You know? So that's all I'm saying. Let's begin to seek 
within each other. You know, the gifts that God has given us to help us through our daily life, you know. And uh, I think that he gave us some basic things like loving one another. Love each other as you love yourself. Well, let's think of that as countrywide, too, and as this nationwide, too. I'm not a flower child. So, I'm not talking from a hippie point of view. Love, peace, man. No, I'm just talking about if you if we begin to live the word that God gave us, then the doors are open. I think the doors are open to the cures to this thing and cures to everything. Because if we begin to to love each other as we love ourselves, we begin to respect each other. We begin to grow together. And you begin to look at each other for solutions and not just within yourself. And then looking up to God first. Because God first and everything else falls in place. And as a group of men and women, of, of humans, I ain't saying a race, but human race, begin to pull together with that concept. Then somewhere in there is always a solution. There has been a solution. So I, I'm loose. I'm loose. I'm, I'm loose. And I'm going in there. But uh, I just want to say that, you know, um, when you're thinking, as, as you were saying, uh, this month, I was saying last week, uh, that this month we have been meditating on that 27 Psalm. And I do believe that if we begin to understand that the Lord is our God, Yes, Jesus, thank you, Lord. And I'm just going to pause right there. The Lord is our life. Yes. And, 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 and if you're in the middle of fighting, I just want you to know something right now. The Lord is your life. Yes. It's not going to be if you can knock somebody down that fight or I'll shout them. No, 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 no. Because if you make the Lord your life, He's going to shine over the darkness even within yourself. Absolutely. Uh-oh. What you saying, Charles? What you you? No, no. He'll tear that darkness down even within yourself. So even in the middle of you thinking hate, he can fill your mind with love. But he also says he's your salvation, too. What does salvation mean? I mean, he's your light and salvation. We know that salvation is for Jesus Christ, for all Christians. But salvation, salvation right now, for every person out there, is being able to see in the midst of your darkness. Uh, a lady, uh, she's like, she's 93 years old, uh, Mama T. She said this. <laughs> she this she said, yeah, she's 93. Yeah. She's 93, but she's doing it. She said, you know what? If, she said, if you don't want your light to shine, then don't try to come steal mine. <laughs> <laughs> and really, that, that, that's, that's the real deal of it. Let's continue to spread light. We have a choice right now. To spread love in the midst of hate. To spread light in the midst of darkness. Yes. This is a dark time. I don't want to sugarcoat that. This is a dark time when we have the leaders of the free world um, at each other, for, for whatever reason. And like you say, it can only be principalities and darkness, wickedness can take over a person. So we have to pray for those people as we see that thing taking over them that is bigger than them. But God. Oh, you ought to believe this is for God to come in and turn this upside down. That even everything that was meant for your bad is going to turn around and be used for your good. I believe that. I believe that. And, you know, I ain't no more poor big preaching. I'm just talking to you right now. Uh, God can turn what was meant for your bed around. Right in the middle of all that. He can turn this thing around and use it for your good. So, the good, I can see it being used for is to unite men together. That's something I can see the good that the other eyes can be used for. And I'm, and I'm spiritually looking with my spiritual eye and searching the scripture with my mind. And what could this mean, Lord? It can mean that his word could be fulfilled. Every knee must bow. Because he says it. At the same time, it was like this. You know, plagues came up on Egypt. Plagues. So to make them be forced to let their brothers go. They were slaves. You don't just let your slaves go. They ain't just let their slaves go here. You were their slaves. Your mama was their slave. Yeah. You. Your mama was their slave. But if you understand that through that circumstance, makes you the man or woman that sits down in your seat today. Ooh, you ought to say, thank you, Lord, but God. Because they didn't mean that for your good. 
<laughs> you can pick what was meant for you. I'm just giving you an illustration of what I'm saying. Talk to you. You can pick what was meant for your boy. Turn it around. Turn it around. And let it be your step stool for your good. I want you to stand on this feet right now and start reaching out. I want people to reach out. I want you to feel that you are empowered. Everybody move out here in this election, both red and blue. I mean, the Republicans and the Democrats is out there fighting and moving. Now, I got to give it to both sides because they're just about equal. I ain't never seen it this equal. It might be uh, 10 votes separating <laughs> You ain't voting this. But 10 votes may separate this side from winning right now. So to me, both sides won because both sides participated. In the Jewish, you know, in the election process. I got something for you. And, 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 and we're hoping the president can help us do it. But don't forget, you might be the president, but God is over your house. I just want to open your eyes, continue to walk in the greatness that He made for you. And I'm going to say something to you, to my people personally. Let's begin this year to feed our seeds of entrepreneurship. Whether it be this minority black on TV station, whether it be the store in your neighborhood that might not quite look as good as the other store, we have to begin to learn to love each other enough to share our money with each other, spend our comments with each other, open our eyes to each other, begin to help each other build up to the next level. That's how everyone has done it this time in this country. I'm not trying to be the guru of that, but it's just plain as day. These things would come in. I remember when the, when the little, uh, I don't want to say Arab, because it could have been a Kelly or whatever, but when the little foreigner still would be on the corner, the little raggedy box. You came back five years later, and it's a supermarket. You hear me? <laughs> so, you got a supermarket for you in your life, too. I think that's Timmy Tien saying, we're coming to the end. He do it like this, like the temptation. Timmy Tien. He got hit all red, too, today. He come up to me, I say, okay, man. I, was like, I just got to say to you, love is the key. Let the heat be in the key. Let it break down the doors of division and separation. And don't be too good to work with other people. They used to say, boy, you're so good. Heaven, you ain't no earthly good. But you got to be able to, uh, yes, love God. Keep your mind open. Work with your sister and brother. Know that there's a brighter tomorrow coming for you. He set you up for the for a breakthrough. Everything you saw that was dark is going to be light one day because darkness after darkness comes the light. Your light is coming. Just stand up. And don't wait to be great. I'm going to end with that. Don't wait to be great. He needs Say bye to them and tell them the way they can contact you. I should have had them do that earlier if you would like to be contacted on your Facebook or Instagram. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yes, um, we just thank God for on Facebook, Denise Young Okra. You can get me there anytime. Hit me up on that. Any questions or anything like that, any prayer or anything like that, no problem with that. And we just thank you. And thank God you. Is good. Keep your hand up. Thank you so much for listening to United Gospel. Explosion TV. Hey, you guys, y'all been watching United Gospel Explosion TV. We love you. We'll see you next week. Thanks for being here. Total Home Improvement Company presents the Spring Blowout Special of the Season. Remodel your kitchen, bathroom, basement, plus flooring specials for every room. Call 313 728 2025 for your free in home estimate today. Mention this commercial and get 10% off your project. Call 313 728 2025. Remodel your home today. Total Home Improvement, the company you call for your home improvement needs.